There are many AI news to cover. Meta releases Meta Movie Gen, which is in par with OpenAI's Sora. Apple releases Depth Prediction Model. Liquid AI releases many models and these models are much better than other models of the same parameter. We have update from Runway ML. When you provide the first frame and the last frame, you get the video for that. Pyramid Flow, a video generation model, which is similar to OpenAI Sora. And also it is completely MIT license, which means free to use. In a video, you are able to make a person look every direction and also make them smile. Heijin releases realistic avatars and many more to cover. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. First in our news story is Meta's movie generation model. This is so realistic and imagine how films are going to look in the future. So there are multiple features in this. You can see the stunning images. You can transform one video which looks like this into another video and changing that to a bubble. So the first option is generating videos from text. So you just provide a text and you are able to automatically create stunning videos which looks like this. These all are generated from movie gen. Next feature is editing video with text. So imagine this is your original video and you are asking the model to add VR headset and it's able to add that. Similarly, it's able to remove the VR headset and also it can add bubbles. Similarly, here is another. So this is the original image and you are able to add items to the video. You can change the environment. You can replace the whole person with a different clothing. And the third feature is personalized videos. That means you are able to add one image of you and provide the video. It can swap your face for that. Similarly, here is another. This is the input image and able to generate another video like this. And here is another input image. Based on that, this video got generated. And the final feature is that creating sound effects from a video. So let's listen to this. So here is another one. Next, let's go through the different models available. That is Apple Depth Pro. Previously, we had devices like this to generate the depth image, to capture the depth. But now using the Apple model, you are able to create depth and it can be used in various different ways. So this is the architecture on how they developed this model. Next, we have a model from Liquid AI and it is released in 1.3 billion parameter, 3 billion and 40 billion parameter. And considering its active parameters, you can see they are far better than all its competitors. And this is really nice, considering it's only their first series of generative AI models. The context length for the 40 billion mixture of experts is 32,000, but compared to Llama 3.1, 70 billion parameter model, this is coming close to it. Here it's 82 and it's 78. Also, there is another model called Dracarias 2. So that's going to be the world's best open source model for coding. And you can see the ranking here is just coming next to O1 Preview. Considering it's open source is really good. Next, update to Runway ML. So you provide the first frame and the last frame and it's able to create the frame in the middle. This simplifies the process of movie making where you want consistency between two frames. So you can give the first frame and the last frame and it's able to clearly create the in-between frames. In the topic of video generation, there's a model called Pyramid Flow. It can generate 10 second videos, 768 pixels at 74 frames per second. And here is an example video. Considering this is free for us to use, the video quality is really good. Here is another example where it's navigate over the mountain of China wall. Here is another video over the seashore, you can see. Next, we have face poke, which means we are able to modify the image by just our mouse moves. You can just move our mouse to open the eyes, close the eyes, move the face, even in an image, also in a video. And you are able to try that now. Here is a video which showcases that. We are able to move the face, move the eyes in different location. Also use the source image to generate the other image. The movement is so realistic, as you can see here. Just hold your mouse and just move that in different direction to move the face around. Considering this is only an image or a video. Look at this, this is so realistic. Heijin's avatar update. No, 
This isn't Minchoy. This is an AI avatar created using HeyGen's new Avatar 3.0 with unlimited look. In just the past year, AI video technology has made incredible leaps forward. What you're witnessing is the future of digital content creation at scale. You know how making videos used to be a huge hassle? Well, that's changing fast. This new AI stuff is pretty mind-blowing. It's like... Yeah, that is true. It's really mind-blowing. Imagine content creators, rather than sitting here, they can use these avatars to create those content. That's going to be the future. Next, in regards to Mistral, there are three different fine-tuned versions. One is Lee Chat Robot, training Mistral 7B to control robotic hands. And we have Midistral, which means you are able to create music from this model. This is a fine-tuned Mistral small model. And then we have Alplex, fine-tuned Mistral 7B for legal assistance. First, let's see Alplex. So here is the Alplex chat window. It's mainly for legal work, which means we are able to ask any questions and it's able to provide relevant information and it's fine-tuned on law documents. And here is the diagram. When you as a person ask any question about a law document, then it uses meta prompting, which means formatting the prompt and then sending that to the classifier. Then based on what law it is, if it's criminal law, it's going to criminal. If it's going to be public law, it's going to for public law database. If it's going to be civil law, it's going to go to the civil law database. Accordingly, it's going to retrieve relevant documents and then use another model to summarize the text and give it to the user. And they found that this classifier improves the performance compared to other fine-tuned models. So that is Alplex behind the scenes. So here is Midistral, which means they fed ABC notation to fine-tune this model with the different parameters, as you can see here, genre, mood, and instruments. Based on that, I just click generate, and here is the notes and music which it generated. You got the code for the Midistral if you want to try that. Next, Emily Bench from OpenAI, evaluating machine learning agents on machine learning engineering. This is super cool because you are using AI to create another AI. So let's look at this paper. You can see that Emily Bench from OpenAI, and here is the description. So basically you are feeding a description dataset and the leaderboard. So the aim for this agent is to top the leaderboard. That's what currently happening in LLM arena. So the ultimate aim for this agent is to top the list. So it's going to fine tune or train the model, then test the model and submit the CSV. Using that, we are going to grade that and put that in the leaderboard. Similarly, it can repeat itself. So it's same like a Kaggle competition for AI engineers. So generally for AI engineers, the competition is that they'll be provided with a description on what to do, the data set, and what to achieve. So based on that, they are going to train the model and submit that. So this is more agentic way, an automated way, rather than a human being doing it. So this is going to be the future, one AI creating another AI. So I came across this application, napkins.dev, made by Together AI. So in this, we are going to provide a wireframe. From that, it's going to create an app using React and Tailwind. So I'm going to provide an image, and here is the image. This is a wireframe, like book an appointment, like a form there. So now I'm going to click generate app. This is using the vision model, and you can see it's analyzing the image using the vision model. And based on that, it's going to create the code, and I will be able to visualize that here. Let's see. Now it's generating me the code, and now it's showing me the page. This is super cool. As you can see here, the image what I provided contains home about contact, here also you got home about contact and then login. Then you got book an appointment as you can see here. We'll respond in three to five business days, same as here. And you got the form with the name, address, phone, date picker, comments, and you can submit. This is super cool. Also, there's another option where you can click open sandbox and it'll open that in sandbox, like the code sandbox, which you can run and test and modify. Llama 3.2 vision model is coming to Olama which means locally you are able to run Olama with the model, provide any image and ask question and it's able to respond accordingly. It's completely local and private. Next, we have Villor. Villor is an end-to-end -end system for real-time 3D hand localization and reconstruction in real-world scenarios. So you can see it's able to identify where the hands are and able to predict the 3D image for those hands. And here is a paper regarding that. So here is an example. So whatever direction you show your hand, it's able to predict what are you trying to do. So that is the proposed method. So previous method didn't work accurately, but the proposed method is able to find the hand movements accurately. So compared to media pipe, open post, contact hands, and VITDET, 
This is far better as you can see here. And the final news of the day. Virtual version of the individual at age 60. This simulated future self can answer questions about what someone's life in the future could be like, as well as offer advice or insights on the path they could follow. To help people visualize their future selves, the system generates an age-progressed photo of the user. The chatbot is also designed to provide vivid answers, so the simulation feels like an actual future version of the individual. So yeah, using this, you are able to talk to your future by just providing your vision, and it's going to provide you with suggestions and ideas to achieve your goal. So these are really super interesting. Considering you already like all these AI news and there are loads of new features, which I've already covered the previous week, which will be definitely interest for you, which I will link that here. So definitely go and watch there. There are some new ideas which you can try. I'll see you there.